So welcome back to the channel and uh, again this time around I have another microphone. Here it is. It's the Trust Mantis model. It's a PC and laptop streaming microphone so it's not much really uh, in terms of audio quality or a professional tool or something like that but it's cheap and it gets the work done. Uh, at least to my mind. I'll explain to you more about why I got it, what I am using it for and really why you should consider this as a tool in your, uh, well, in your um, everyday life maybe but also as an amateur uh, YouTuber. So let's get tabletop view and speak more about the Trust Mantis streaming PC laptop microphone. So the Trust Mantis microphone. I apologize for the mess. I can't really do a proper unboxing right now because I don't have the proper setup in my make-believe studio. I'll just put the device away and show you the box real quick. It's nothing uh, special to write home about. There's just this uh, piece of cardboard, not extremely high quality, but well painted and inlaid with in inlaid with information. There's also this piece of uh, plastic tray that came in with the with the microphone. There's a booklet with some warranty information and instructions and also there is another piece of cardboard. There's a user guide as well. So that is it in terms of uh, box contents for the Trust Mantis. Let's look at the device itself. Now I, I, I am pretty impressed uh, with this uh, construction but keep in mind that I'm not an experienced or passionate audiophile so I don't really know what I'm talking about here. I just know that I use it and I'll explain in a moment what I use it for but I will show you its main points and main advantages as it, as it were. So this is the connection cable. It's very well uh, built and isolated. It's got some sort of uh, uh, extra textile protection on top to make it really uh, malleable and elastic but also resistant to any wear and tear especially here at the uh, at the USB outlet. There's three legs and you can collapse these ones and make the microphone seem a bit more compact if you prefer to uh, carry it around in your uh, luggage or anything like that. It's also very stable and it's got some rubbery isolators here, some little pegs that help it uh, reduce vibration. There's also quite interesting at this price point there are some uh, uh, elastics, some straps here, some elastic bands that uh, ensure that the microphone will not suffer from vibrations as you touch it or move it around and it's also fixed in place in two different, uh, well it's fixed in two different places, not in one. So very nice. There's also this pop-up filter which honestly you would not expect at this price point and it's fixed with this little connecting rod, two screws and an additional nut holding it here on top. So very well built for uh, 20 euros what you might pay for this and about 13 euros what I paid for it. Now in the coming seconds I will do a bit of voiceover so you can check the quality of this device so this is me recording a bit of a voiceover with the Trust Mantis desk microphone. I will be trying to get all the sounds in the English language so you can pretty much hear what this microphone has to offer. Now I'm not the best voiceover actor, in fact far from it and the device itself is not really that great but hopefully this will give you an idea of what the Trust Mantis is capable of. So that didn't sound half as bad considering what you would pay for this thing. 
I wouldn't recommend it for uh, recording uh, any special projects, though it works better than using your mobile phone or a cheap uh, knockoff uh, microphone that you would get on an obscure website which costs 5 euros, but re in reality it's nowhere, nowhere near as good as this one. Now what I use it mainly for is recording, you know, training and audio training basically. Uh, I don't know if it shows or not, but my voice and the level that I have reached now on YouTube, on my YouTube project, is actually a labor of love and passion and it has been going on for more than two years now, almost three years in the, in the upcoming summer. And most of those efforts are based while training on this little gadget. If I have some spare time, I will try to record with this microphone, do a bit of reading and listen to my own voice while recording and trying um, some language, simple language uh, exercises in English. And really this is, this has been my bread and butter, my, my main go tool for that uh, particular uh, task. Now I like that it's connected uh, via USB, but it's also pretty straightforward. It's just plug and play and Windows recognizes or rather your own PC, whatever variant you have, will recognize this device straight on. So it's it's an excellent investment if you uh, think about it this way. Yeah, the audio quality is not that great, but really you get a streamlined gadget, a uh, very well uh, sorted, uh, you know, audio code codecs and the like. I don't know, that's witchcraft to me. I'm just beginning to learn them, but r really I can see that it functions great. It's plug and play, it's straightforward, and it doesn't give you too much of a hassle. On the downside, you don't get really stellar audio quality, but you shouldn't expect it at this price point. That has been a quick review of the Trust Mantis microphone. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it somewhat informative. I think this gadget has a few strong points. I like the way it's built and engineered. It's very professional looking and somebody has, has given some thought into how it's supposed to be used. Really for this price point, you could do a lot worse when buying a microphone. Uh, I prefer it for my uh, language exercises, but I guess its main purpose is to, you know, to um, play video games and record while in Teams or Zoom meetings or anything of that nature. So thanks for watching and hopefully in the next episode I will have collected or hoarded some more weird quirky gadgets for your amusement and entertainment. Bye-bye.